Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Alcan ADV. Uh, this episode's a little late. I want to call it the crash report. <laughs> So, I was just up visiting my friend in uh, Greensboro area in North Carolina and left for a couple of day trip out to the coast. Um, I'm in Elizabeth City, I think it is right now. Um, and that's because I got diverted. I got in another accident. Now, I'm beginning to think it's me. I'm not sure. Now, the first one was definitely the other guy's fault. Now, as far as a motorcycle goes, that's a different story, but, you know, fault of the accident laid on me because I rear-ended her. But she stopped where she shouldn't have stopped. Well, this one, the blame is squarely on me. I rear-ended another car. This one was stopped at a stoplight. This was out in the Barrier Reef Islands in North Carolina. Um, there was a few factors involved. First one was, well, I should have swerved and I braked instead. If I'd have swerved, I'd have had plenty of room. I could have just, you know, laid her over a little bit, swerved, and got right out of the way. I braked. I braked hard and fast and, uh, I didn't lock the front up. I locked the rear up though. And uh, I swerved a little bit, but not enough. So I got the left side of the bike this time. So I just got done finishing all my plastics and all the pretty stuff. And uh, I was gonna post a video about that. I might still do it. But now I wrecked the other side of the bike. So at least it'll match once, once it's all you know, fixed. Now the problem here is the bike is not rideable right now. Um, I had it towed up here to this little town wherever I am, I'm, I'm not sure, whatever the name is, and uh, stuck it in the parking lot of a Kawasaki dealer. I've got a hotel, and uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to go over there and uh, see if I can get a new radiator for it. I busted the radiator. And, uh, of course, the plastics and the crash bar now matches the other side, but um, that can all be fixed. The radiator is really what is making it non-roadworthy. Anyway, so if I get a new radiator, that's great. Also, the uh, to add to my problems, the cop that stopped and helped helped. He uh, he wrote me out a ticket. I, I've never got a ticket before, but he said it was uh, my crime was failure to slow adequately to avoid colliding with another vehicle or something like that. Anyway. And it's all this standard procedure now. Of course, I've never heard of it, but maybe I'm just dumb. So I've got that problem, and uh, he said something about the insurance, and I can work things out with somebody. Anyway, so I've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. So you're not going to get a regular video this week. I'll throw in some uh, footage and, and photos, maybe, maybe not footage from... Uh, from last week or, or whatever riding and hope for the best anyway here goes so we started off with the needles highway which there was a rv that rv tried to get through that tunnel and uh, got stuck in the process anyway so we had to heave and hoe and get get them out and then we i went through i have some good footage of this but it's on a different camera and uh, right now it's not accessible then I went to Mount Rushmore and uh, saw the sights. I love Mount Rushmore. I've always just, it's always been kind of special to me. I don't know why, but I like it. So I spent some time there.
Then I went over to see the house my dad was born and grew up in, and then uh, out to see my Uncle Steve in Illinois. We had a good time, and I worked on the bike a little bit, had some food, just visited and talked and whatnot. Had a great time. I learned this little trick from him, and so it was fun to kind of beat him at his own game a little bit. You put them around everywhere and see how long it takes them to find them. I went through a little town in Indiana and it was late at night and they had this big pretty courthouse in the middle. And they had these cannons out front. Well, as you can see, they had the old guns of old Fort Pitt. It's incredible. This is the farthest east I've ever been, so it's, uh, it's pretty neat to see that much uh, history laying around. When I went through Tennessee, I stopped in Pall Mall, which is the birthplace and home of Sergeant York. Anyway, this is a grist mill that he owned and operated after the war. Pretty neat to go see. They have a little museum there and I went and stopped and got talking with the park ranger who was also a historian, military historian. We had a good talk. It was Ranger Wells, Tanner Wells. Anyway, Tanner, it's nice to meet you and uh, hope you have a good time. And then the accident, the first one. This is uh, on the road at the scene. Anyway, I was just taking pictures of, you know, damage and all that bike was perfectly rideable, just a bunch of plastics got banged up. But I didn't go without a fight. This is the car and I took a good sized chunk out of it, although <laughs> there was more damage to my bike. Shortly thereafter I rode the tail of the dragon. The bike was still a mess, but it's perfectly rideable and did, did great. I've got footage of all this too, but uh, <laughs> it's on the other camera and I can't get to it right now, it's just too much. Pulled into a Sonic drive-in, I always wanted to do this on a bike and so I uh, figured, well I'll find one somewhere. Then I went uh, out to my friends and we went for a little hike up to the top of this real pretty rock, this is in North Carolina, and uh, they call these mountains down there. It's, uh, it's more like a hill with a rock on the top, but anyway, it was, it was gorgeous and a real fun hike. So I'm at my friend's house in this little shop shed thing and uh, working on fixing my plastics after the accident. Got this one uh, well stitched. I still have to glue everything but I'm going to do all the stitching first. So I've got this here and then all of these and that and then I have to put this piece on right there. Anyway, I've got all my holes drilled and I have to fix that one and I have to put this in here and then uh, Put another piece on right there and then I'll be done then I can start uh, gluing it. So when I hit it pushed this crash bar back from uh, there to there so uh, it did come up here and contact my exhaust pipe but it didn't really push it anywhere it just touched. I was beating on it yesterday and, and it moved off so I'm not too worried about it. The real lucky part is right here now it's got a quarter of an inch there this is my clutch there was an eighth, and uh, if that had hit that, it had been curtains for the clutch and probably curtains for the bike at that point. So I got all that together, and uh, this is the finished product. Looks pretty good, you know, it's, it's a KLR, it doesn't really matter that much. And then, 
this happened. Here's the, the second accident. Basically a mirror image of the first one, with the exception this one busted the radiator because it's on this side. The uh, steering's a little bent too, but I, f I can fix that all right. And once again, I took a little bite out of my adversary here, although this one looks a little prettier than the other one did. I think I hit this one going a little bit faster. The, uh, the damage is more severe, but it also was slightly more jarring in a way. And there it is on the tow truck. My poor KLR. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, I'm here in the hotel. I'm going to wait until the dealership opens tomorrow and hopefully go fix that thing. And figure out if I have to go out to the coast again to uh, either pay my fine or show up in court and do whatever and try to get out of it. Whatever. I'm going to call the insurance and all, all, the, all the fun stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, y'all ride safe. I'm not a very good example. You might not want to watch this stuff anymore. Um, anyway, I'll try to get uh, some footage off of the tail of the dragon and uh, maybe the Needles Highway as well. Anyway, we'll see what we can do. Y'all ride safe and uh, we'll see you in the next one.